Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your bonus reading. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Also, this is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have Page of Cups, Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Six of Wands, the Sun, the Lovers, Ten of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like somebody here really has some deep feelings for you, Cancer. It, honestly, here's what I'm picking up, okay? And this is going to be really specific, so it may not resonate with every single one of you. Uh, but I feel like somebody here thinks that you either have moved on from them, that you have other options, or that you're not as interested in them as they are in you and so i feel like this is a matter of having to kind of clarify where each of you stand in the connection because i feel like somebody here wants to offer you love they want to offer you a connection but they don't know how because they feel like they've already run out of time or they feel like maybe you're you know already interested in another person but i feel like ultimately there is going to be an opportunity for this person to say what they need to say and i feel like that might lead to there being a very strong connection and if this isn't about someone trying to connect with you and someone um new that you know i feel like this could also be about you with a person that you're already with and having certain ideas or things that you want to achieve together as a couple and maybe having doubts of whether or not it, it can happen but then feeling and getting that instant um that instant confirmation that that will happen. So for example, maybe some of you are in a current relationship or I don't know if you hear that, but it sounds like the world is ending. Okay. Um, so as an example, sorry about that. It's just, I was trying to understand what was, I don't know what I was hearing. Um, so as an example, let's say you and your partner are trying to have a child, but maybe you've had difficulties in the past and maybe the doctors are telling you one thing and you know, you're just kind of like, you know, you're not really sure, but I feel like something is going to happen very soon that will give you kind of the confirmation that, okay, yeah, we are going to be successful. So that's just an example of some of the things that I'm picking up here. But overall, with the Two of Swords, Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Cups, I feel like this is either realizing that there may be more options um, on how to achieve this or you know kind of just that feeling of I don't know what to think maybe there's some doubts there's some worries but I feel like that's all going to be resolved with time because I do see that there is going to be success there's going to be abundance there's there's just a, a need to be positive and I feel like sometimes that's the hardest thing to do when we are you know going through something difficult you know maybe you're tired of hearing things like that where you're just like yeah I can be positive all I want but if I'm going through something difficult you know I want validation and so that might be something that is the challenge here is remaining optimistic remaining positive but honestly everything here is lining up to say that things are actually going to be okay even though right now it feels worse it feels like you know there's uh, too many challenges or obstacles I feel like there's a sense of defeat here with the ten of swords but be sure that there is going to be success because I think that deep down inside there is a lot of potential and just there's so much happiness here. I mean with the sun, the lovers, page of cups, ten of cups at the bottom of the deck, I mean empress, I feel like some of you could try could be trying to have a child or maybe you have gotten that news. Maybe there's even fears about you know um something good you know maybe you're afraid of you know this new chapter but i honestly i feel like there's so many happy things going on so much love i feel like there's a strong connection in your life um and i feel like with the sun if anything there might just be stress you know involved in you know this whole thing because realistically you know when we get good news we want to make sure that we are going to be the best we can and so maybe you're stressing about being the best parent or maybe you're stressing about having you know all of the resources that you need in order to make this work so whether this is about you know a child or a business or you know a personal endeavor you know i feel like having that confidence in yourself and just trusting the process is really gonna 
I feel like that's the only thing that's needed here. I feel like everything else is taken care of. I mean, I feel like you do have the support. I feel like you do have the um, the resources. I feel like you are capable of doing this well. I feel like there's just a need to be more confident or to have more faith that this will work out. Because right now, I just sense that there's a little bit of doubt or worry. But I feel like with time, um, you will realize that all of these things, you know, are, are going to be okay. But let's go ahead and clarify the lovers. Wow. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So that right there is confirming that this is going to be more than okay. I feel like there is going to be some major achievements here in the near future for you. I feel like if you're trying to establish, you know, some sort of legacy or if you're trying to you know, establish um, the foundation for your family, if you're trying to create abundance, if you're trying to create generational wealth, I feel like all those things are in your power. Um, I feel like you're you're honestly on your way to being successful, um, you know, more successful than you already are, but you're also finding your way to peace. I feel like a lot of you um, have been focusing so hard on being your very best. You have been doing so much. So you've been investing in yourself, in your future. And right now, I feel like you're just hoping that it all works out. I feel like you're just searching for that peace of mind that everything that you've been doing is truly going to be a success. Because I really feel like for a lot of you that your your family, your children, your you know the people in your life, that's really important to you at this time. And you're focusing on that right now and trying to make sure that you know there's never anything missing. Um, but with the King of Swords, the Star and the king of wands i feel like a lot of you um don't realize how much you actually have i feel like with the star um there's a lot of hope and a lot of positivity in the near future coming towards you and i think it's because you and the person maybe that you're with are going to start to see things from a different perspective i feel like there's going to be a lot of new ideas a lot of um new perspectives i feel like there's going to be so much more clarity or transparency transparency in the communication of how things work i feel like because this is so important and so serious uh, for the both of you you're going to start to realize how much you grow together as you're trying to you know make sure that you are one in this situation because i really feel like whatever it is that you're trying to do right now can cancer um i really feel like it involves two people you know it's like not just a one person thing I, both parties need to be um, on the same page both people need to want this and I feel like if the two of you constantly stay focused um, and passionate on you know making sure that everything is in line and that everything that is needed is acquired I feel like there's no way that this can fail but some of you for some reason still have some doubts and I feel like that's just you know the the, the key message here is you know that all these things are going great and you know there's a lot to look forward to and a lot of good happy things but for some reason that worry or that doubt is still there and I guess that's the part that you know we're trying to get to the bottom of so let's go ahead and clarify the seven of pentacles all right six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck yeah for some of you this could have to do with you worrying whether or not you know whoever it is that's helping you now is always going to be there I feel like some of you may even be stressing about you know is this person going to always you know be there to support me because i feel like in the past maybe there was not equal give and take maybe you were the one to kind of give a lot to the situation so now that something very big is happening something that will really change your life you know you're you're worrying maybe a little bit more than usual you know can i always count on this um when i need it and so to further clarify the seven of pentacles we have temperance the hermit and the Hierophant. So with that, I feel like there's definitely a long-term commitment. There could even be a marriage or a proposal, something in the future to really solidify this connection that will give you some more of that um, confidence and that peace of mind that there is no need to worry about what this person feels. I feel like this person is going to make it clear that they're in it for the long haul. And with the Hermit and the Temperance, I feel like this is really a need to just look within and have trust and patience um and overall just faith in the universe and faith that things will eventually come to a balance because maybe right now all of the steps all of the details involved in this are making you worried it's making you feel like maybe you're running out of time but i feel like with time um and with you know trusting the process you'll realize that everything is happening the way that it's meant to happen and i feel like with the hermit this is maybe just a message to 
kind of take a break, you know, let, let the universe do what it has to do. Let the person that you're with or the people around you, let your support system uh, be there for you. And, and maybe it's time to take a break. Maybe this is you needing to just kind of unwind, you know, take care of yourself, give yourself some grace and just realize that you've already done, you know, the, the most important part, which is bringing something to life here and really taking care of something and now it's going to blossom and it's going to be everything that it's meant to be and you just have to kind of um you know enjoy the process and just be excited for all that's to come so i really hope that this was helpful i hope that you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one